On a surprise visit to Iraq, the United States' top military officer, General Martin Dempsey, has said the momentum in the battle with ISIL militants is starting to turn. But he's still predicting a drawn-out campaign that will last several years. President Obama began sending non-combatant troops back to Iraq in the summer for the first time since U.S. forces withdrew in 2011. While they help Iraqi and Kurdish forces battle extremists on the ground, airstrikes are continuing against ISIL, which has captured large swathes of territory in both Iraq and Syria. The threat could be bigger than first thought, however. Kurdish sources in today's British press suggest that ISIL has an army of at least 200,000 fighters, up to eight times bigger than foreign intelligence estimates.